Scheduling and automation is a very important aspect of database administration. And to achieve this in Postgres, one way you can go about it is using the PG Agent. On Unix systems, PG Agent runs as a daemon. And on Windows, it runs as a service. In most cases, the PG Agent will run on the database server itself. So for this reason, PG Agent is not automatically installed when you install the PG Admin. So basically, the PG Agent can be installed on a separate server from your database server. It also has more powerful scheduling capabilities than cron which is often used because this is specifically built for Postgres tasks. So for example, PG Agent can schedule multiple steps without a bad script or without repeating the command. In the next lecture, we're going to be taking a look at how you can install PG Agent on Unix or a Windows system. To install PG Agent daemon on a Unix system, normally you need to have root privileges. To install Agent on Ubuntu, you'd use the sudo apt install PG Agent. Remember, this will vary per Unix system, so consult with your system documentation. For installation on Windows, PG Agent is available in a pre built installer. So you can use the Stop Builder application to download it and install. If you do it this way, the service will be automatically created for you and you don't have to follow the route of using the command line for Windows. So now we are going to be installing PG Agent and Ubuntu Server. Once you have connected to your database terminal, you see the command to install PG Agent. This may take a few minutes to complete. In the next lecture, we are going to be taking a look at how to configure PG Agent for your database. Now that you have installed PG Agent, you are now ready to configure your database for the use of PG Agent through PG Admin. Before using PG Admin to manage the PG Agent, you must create a PG Agent extension in the maintenance database. So expand your Postgres database, right click extension and select query tool. Then execute the command create extension PG agent. So when you refresh your Postgres database, it's important to know that a PLPG SQL is required before you create the PG agent extension. If not, you'll get an error. The next step is to set up a PG agent as a daemon so your jobs can execute successfully. So now we're at the fun part of this module. We're going to be creating a job to insert data every minute in one of our existing tables within the new database. The data which is in the new DB now was stored from the DVD rental database. So you can generate an insert statement for any of the table you want by right clicking on the table and then select script and then insert script. And then modify the script to set the parameters that you want. So I'm going to execute this script and ensure it is executing successfully. Now scroll down to the PG agent, right click and select create PG agent job. Specify a name for the job. And then for the job class, you can select data import. For the steps section, you're going to create the steps that you want to run in the job. In this case, we're going to add only a step. So select the plus icon to add a row. Then specify a name for the step. Then in the edit section, click the edit row section to make changes to the job. So you have two kind of tasks that you can use. You can use SQL and you can use batch. We are going to be using batch. You can run on a remote server, right? Or you can run on a local host. Say it's local host. Select the database that you want to execute the job against. And then on error, we are going to keep it as fail. On the code tab, is where you specify the SQL code to be executed. Now you can use this to do pretty much any form of SQL. Whether you want to delete or update, execute a store procedure, you name it. You can use it to schedule your task. Then select save. Oops, I'm not done, so I'm going to have to rehead it. Select properties. Now on the schedules tab is where you're going to set the schedule for the frequency of which you want the job to execute. Select the plus icon to add a row. 
specify the name for it so you can give it any name you want i'm going to execute it every minute so i'm going to just call it insert minute edit row specify when you want the job to start the date and you can leave the end date as null or you can set a date when you want the job to end so i'm going to put the 18th and feel free to leave a comment for your job step on the repeat section is where you specify when you want the job to be executed you can select the specific days you want the job to run or you can select all right let's x that out you can also select the months day where they want to execute on the first the third the fourth you name it for the month you can do the same however we're just going to set it for every minute so to do it every minute you're going to select all and then select save now query your table to validate that the data is inserted successfully so let's execute if i scroll down to the bottom of the table see where the records are inserted so i just refresh and my total rows went to 5 so another record was inserted to view the execution history select the job and then select statistics so the status is saying success and it shows the time it was executed and the duration if you view the sql tab you'll see the list of sql statement that was generated to create the task when you select properties you'll also get a brief overview of the status of the job you can enable and disable you can also query the tables within the pg catalog expand the pg agent scheduler and then you should see the list of tables that were created when you created the pg extension so you can right click and view data for any of the tables there is no exception thus far so let's view schedule view data all rows and this is the one schedule which was created so you can use the PG agent to schedule almost any task you want within your database and you don't have to go through the struggles of using cron